Ooh, light it up. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't think I was starting to record now. Welcome to HTML uh, tutorial number three. Um, today we're going to cover um, uh, more, a little bit advanced stuff in the uh, um, uh, uh, called basically attributes. And uh, attributes will allow you to. Uh, you know, give something an attribute. Um, basically, um, uh, I have to show you. It's easier. Um, but uh, anyways, our last tutorial, we covered um, line breaks and headers. So let's go ahead and uh, have our headers regular. I took all the break lines out. So uh, as you see here, oops, sorry, breathing, Mike. As you see here, it's all one big happy family. But anyways, you want to go ahead and at the very, in that H1, your header, you want to go ahead and hit space. And you want to type in A-L-I-G-N, align, equals, quotation, quotation. And in between these quotations, you're going to type in center. And what that is going to do, it's going to align to center. Your header, header tag is going to align to center. And as you see here, this is header 1, and it's right in the middle of the screen. That is aligning to center of the screen. And uh, the best thing about this, you can literally resize it, and it will stay in the center. But uh, anyways, that is called giving it a uh, attribute, align to center. And uh, again, if you, ha if you do have notepad, <coughs> oh, sorry, I cannot stress enough. Please uh, write this down and you know give a description. Type in align center equals uh, you know puts whatever in the middle of the screen, and it it doesn't just do that for uh, um, uh, headers. It actually does that for paragraphs. If you go over here to paragraph and you type that and uh, come over here, it will align it to center. Now you really can't tell because I have the box small, but if I stretch it out, it's in the center. Um, you can do that with anything and everything, or just about. Um, some of it I came across won't work, but most of the case it does. And as you see now, everything is aligned equals uh, quotation center, quotation, and less than, uh, you know, that's your thing. And you don't have to end it because um, since you typed it within the brackets, like in uh, our case, we went less than P space. Uh, we typed in a line equals quotation center quotation less than. So basically, it's like taking the line center out and it's still just the P for paragraph. Since we put the line center in the graph um, tab or uh, tag um, in between the angle brackets um, or the less than greater than, it is staying within the code of the paragraph. So that way, whenever the paragraph ends, so does the aligned center, basically, uh, in a nutshell. Um, you know, it does that for a header. It does that with any of them. Uh, again, there are some I came across that won't let you line the center. Um, but uh, we won't come across those for a little bit. And probably until we get into the CSS tutorials. Uh, sorry, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm laying down on my bed. I'm doing one tutorial after another. Um, but yeah, you want to go ahead and, uh, anyways, that is the align attribute, and those come in handy, and I'm going to do one more, um, code, or tag, for this tutorial, it's called HR, and, uh, HR stands for, um, horizontal row, uh, and that means, uh, well, basically I can't really give you a means to it, I'm just going to show you. And um, do paragraph here, and um, type in above me is the horizontal line. Go ahead, in the paragraph. I'm going to save it. Come over here, refresh it, and as you see, there's. I'm not sure if you can see. Let me zoom in. Uh, I can't zoom. In. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm just holding down some buttons. Um, there's a line right between here, above or below the, um, our second paragraph, and above our third paragraph. There is a little line right here, and uh, that is called a horizontal row. 
Um, anyways, that right there basically divides everything. But that's not really the um, that's not a uh, 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 a stylish way to do it. That's more of uh, you know kind of like right underneath a nav bar. Um, if you've seen my uh, I, my first or my created website uh, video, you can see the HR in there. And if you see pumped up for HTML video, you will also see the HR command in there. Um, but uh, again, HR just basically means horizontal row, and it puts that big line right there. And uh, yeah. So basically, we just covered the attribute align center in HR. The reason why I did align center is because a lot of people want to know that right off the bat. So I was like, well, it's very nice, easy, and not so complex. So we give it align equals center and the HR command. And uh, the HR, you don't have to end, but you can also just type in the forward slash anyways. Um, it really doesn't do nothing. It just does it. Nothing, really. But anyway, so that's that. In our next tutorial, we will be covering the header tag. Or not the header, um, the head tag and uh, the title tag. So that's simple. And uh, yeah, um, again, the HR, horizontal row, and um, uh, align center. Or align equals comma, comma. Or quotation, quotation, I'm sorry. Um, in between the quotations, you type in center. You can also type in left, I believe. Let's go and give that a shot real quick. L E F T. And uh, we're going to save this. We're going. Yeah. Yeah, I can also assign it to left or right. Not just center. And that is, you know, applying a um, an attribute. So, uh, you know, there's more than just a line center. There's line right, line left. You know, experiment with it. That's what helps you. Um, again, we just covered those. So, uh, thank you for watching CyberOx.